and you, young Skywalker. We will watch your career with great interest. The words of newly elected Chancellor Palpatine after the Battle of Naboo was won by the Jedi, the security forces of Naboo, and the Gungan army. It seems this is the first time Palpatine knew about Anakin Skywalker, but it goes much deeper. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Do it. And leave a thumbs up for the video. Do it. The Phantom Menace, it was said that there was no father to Anakin Skywalker strong in the Force, and the Jedi concluded that Anakin was created by the Force itself. It seemed a bit messianic, but most fans just let it go as is. It became even more ambiguous as to how Anakin came to be in Revenge of the Sith. Palpatine told Anakin the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise. He told him Plagueis had learned how to manipulate death and create life. While Plagueis dies by the hands of his apprentice, and it's heavily insinuated that his apprentice was none other than Chief Palpatine. This led us to believe that Darth Plagueis had created Anakin, that Plagueis was essentially Anakin's father. Anakin looked confused, but he didn't look like he took the hint or the bait. He didn't understand that he was created by the dark side of the Force. Then, in 2018, a comic was released that pinned Palpatine as Anakin's creator his father, that Plagueis had actually taught Palpatine the secret to creating life, and so he did just that. We know how the rest of the story goes. Anakin does some bad things and becomes Palpatine's apprentice, the apprentice named Darth Vader. But when did Palpatine actually start turning Anakin? When did he begin manipulating him and grooming him? We know Anakin's story from nine years old on. He was a gifted pod racer and a slave. He was raised by his mother alone. He was a good kid as far as slave children go, but he was angry and frustrated. He met two Jedi and his freedom was won. He was to be trained as a Jedi. The problem was his mother was to remain a slave. Okay. That's the backstory in a nutshell. So let's get deeper into Palpatine's manipulation. Is it possible that Anakin's rough life was guided by Palpatine? That all along, Palpatine was using the dark side to influence Anakin's life. Both positive and negative was intended by his future dark side master, from the Jedi winning his freedom and leaving his mother, all to have him trained in the Force until it was time to conscript him into the Sith Order. As Anakin grew, both in age and in the Force, he had visions of his mother dying. He went home with the woman of his dreams, Padme, to find out the Sand People had taken his mother. He found her, she died in his arms, and he murdered the whole Sand People village. I killed them. I killed them all. They're dead. Every single one of them. And not just the men, but the women and the children too. This was his worst show of anger. He had often made people uncomfortable with his disobedience, complaining, and defiance. Fast forward a few years, and Anakin is a Jedi. The Clone Wars have been dragging on, and the political climate is tense. He is now secretly married to Padme, and she has become pregnant. Anakin begins to have visions of Padme dying in childbirth. Palpatine somehow knows of the visions. He knows of Anakin murdering the Sand People. He had also convinced Anakin to kill an unarmed Sith. Literally, both his hands were cut off. One event after another, bada bing bada boom, Anakin helps Palpatine escape trouble with the Jedi Council. He then accepts his fate as Darth Vader and becomes a Sith apprentice, all with the premise of learning the power to save his wife from death. The now Sith apprentice Darth Vader is sent to kill the Separatist leaders and end the Clone War. Padme arrives. She begs Anakin to stop. Anakin gets angry and pep chokes her with the Force. Anakin and Obi-Wan fight. Anakin loses and is nearly killed. 
Anik is left without limbs and on fire. Palpatine shows up and takes him to a sanitary medical facility and fixes him right up with a new suit and robot limbs. As he is being suited up, Padme dies in childbirth. But why? No reason was given other than she lost the will to live. Palpatine tells Darth Vader that he had killed her in his anger. Okay, so what? You knew all this, but what if every event was manipulated by Palpatine? What if the slavery, the pod race, Anakin's mother dying in his arms, the distrust of the Jedi Council that they had in Anakin, and Padme's death were all part of Palpatine's design? That's right, Anakin was not to be turned to the dark side until Palpatine needed him. He needed him trained in the Force, but not trusted, until the time was right to release his darkness. He needed Anakin to lose his attachments after putting them in front of him. He killed Anakin's mother and wife to release what was inside Anakin all along. He needed that loss to fuel Darth Vader's anger for the foreseeable future. During Anakin's training, Palpatine kept him close, his creation, his chosen one to usher in his new empire as a strong arm of the new law. Palpatine made Anakin and he created Darth Vader from birth. He simply provided the emotional distrust needed to make him what he created him to be. Palpatine rigged the pod race, made the conditions for him to meet and fall in love with Padme, manipulated his mother's death, created the distrust in the Jedi Council, gave Anakin visions of his mother and Padme dying, all with the dark side of the Force. Anakin Skywalker was created to be Darth Vader. Let me know what you think in the comments below, if you enjoyed this or what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up, and may the Force be with you always.